Hi, Will Give. They're nice. I like them. Thank you. What up, everybody? Yo. What's poppin' with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Good. Less than highly favored. Why you hoes late? I'm not late. I'm not late. We're all in the lady from the waiting room. We was in the waiting room waiting. Oh, y'all was all getting your makeup done? Hush, you. Man, you are so very rarely funny. That's cool. That is fine by me, which is why I don't do the stand up. Damn, I'm done. Neither do I. Yeah, let me get my. Y'all see they've been to open LA back up this Friday? Shit, okay. not, not for me. You're right. You feel me, though? Y'all go ahead. <laughs> you going to get your room back going? Nah, not right now, bro. I'm, I'm going to let, I told you, I'm going I'm to wait till this beta phase is over. You let somebody else get the first outside air? Oh, yeah, bro. Cause when they open, they open Atlanta back up, bro. They, I think they had some like four hundred new cases. Three thousand. That's it's, yep. it's, it's it's ridiculous. People are so stupid. Mac, have you done anything different? I went to the park yesterday with my family, but we were very like we social distance. Was there a lot of people out there? I mean, a billion. And I was like, mm, should have rethought. Y'all seen that video of the people standing in line outside Linux Mall? Yeah, that's ridiculous, bro. Now I'm not going just to don't care. They're like, bro, I'm tired of being in my house. If I die, I die. Right. Bro, it's so crazy because, like, I'll just buy it online. <laughs> that's what I don't understand. Enough you can't get in the mall bro, another way. Not people. Saying, people just people. be one. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, yesterday when I went to the park, it was like a thousand. Like, you would, I have never seen that many happy, joyous black people frolicking in the park okay they was playing there was um it looked like how white people park like pan pacific park in over by uh, frolicking they were frolicking it was like a group of black people over here working out with their mats like you would have thought these were white people there was they were picnicking over here like it was no ratchetry it was just like I <laughs> it wasn't um i'm surprised you was out there Meg. As well we were just, like I, we were away <laughs> like we weren't you know Meg wasn't right. up in the mix though i have a friend she um she stays in, I think, Indianapolis. She was telling me, like, I was on Saturday that uh, <clears throat> everybody was out, like, in Indianapolis. I don't know what part of town she said, but she was like, it was full. She said one of her friends was on a motorcycle, and he was like, it was so full, he couldn't even, like, get through. Like, they were, like, blocking the streets. Where? And toward, in Indianapolis, toward the end of the day, like, a shooting broke out, and, like, an eight-year-old girl got <laughs> shot. Nigga, what? Who is shooting at a time like this? Bro. Who got just guns on deck to shoot him? It's like you you ain't got What's nothing that? else you ain't got nothing else to do like your first day out. No, I see. I was I was on World Star the other day. It was a couple of people fighting, but they both had masks on. I was like, I don't know that y'all understand. Thank That's you funny. Heard. I like, was going past. Uh, I had to buy past, <laughs> past the old Fourth Ward, leaving that park, and which is like the hood, and everybody was out in the projects. They had their they didn't pull out little church folding chairs out to the street. <laughs> They had masks on, and I was like, okay, that's responsible, but they had, like, cups of liquor and masks. I'm like, well, how are you drinking that? <laughs> so, it's, I'm telling you, we're going to hit a sec. It's, it's going to be all fun and games to that second wave hit, and then niggas mm -hmm. going to be like, oh, I can't shit. believe it. I feel like the one thing I took away from this is that when white people protest, shit gets done. Like, we, when we protest, it's just like, every they, they report, they're just like, large people like crowds of people gather and in, and for us it's just like we we try to just see if anybody gets killed or not but when white people protest they just brought a few megaphones to the beach and no. sh the whole city is opening again no they they went they went they was at a courthouse with with guns it was a bunch of Yo. white people with guns that's what did y'all see that white dude in orange county protesting he was wearing tony's merch what no way. Dead. look at tony's instagram he wore a you, Patrick shirt are you serious I said that, I told Tom, that's why they be telling him to stick to comedy. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, people are crazy, man. Now to hear, you better tell Tony Baker he don't care about wow. that. He got people out here wearing his merch. Wow. Tony, Tony Baker don't care about nobody. He's just like, <laughs> That's a horrible look. Tony Tony Baker makes uh, jokes for those people, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they get so mad when he speaks up on social media. They're like, why don't you shut up and make a dog bark? And what about Gerald? That's all I want from you, coon. Bro, I haven't seen white people this mad since the, the uh, Colin uh, Kaepernick shit. <laughs> He's really wearing a Kirkpatrick shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that we're Hilarious. open. Hilarious. It oh, actually works. Funny. 
That is funny. I want them to keep the same energy. It's like, I thought we were supposed to pay attention to the, the police and listen to them. I'm like, man, shut up. I want to go to Applebee's and nothing will stop me. You understand? Oh, we're, we, just, we were just seeing headlines about them, like, keeping Mexicans at the border in pretty uh, much jail. And they were just like, oh, OK. You know what? And it really is. Starbucks. <laughs> and then it's just like, my rights, human rights. <laughs> what, it is, what, it, what it is, ultimately, is that Americans don't like being told what to do. That's the ultimate That's what it problem. boils down to. But they like telling it. other people what to do. Absolutely. Exactly. Especially black people. That is Hey, hey, hey Tahir, I just realized this. Do I have enough time to run to the bathroom really quick? Because I don't want to hold it for an hour. I just realized I got to pee. Can I just go and come right back? Yeah, right five. Back? You. How do you not know you're you didn't go, pee? go potty. How old are you? The worst um, thing wait. about pee in the morning is when you're sleeping good and you know you have to pee and you just don't want to. And the pee is just like, you can you can lay here for as long as you want. You will have to pee eventually. Right. Yep. And then you go to the bathroom and then you can't get back to sleep. That is the worst. The worst. I be trying to close my eyes and walk to the bathroom. Uh, me too. I be trying to stay as, as, as close yep. to sleep as possible. <laughs> close my eyes, run my hand through the water real quick, keep rocking. I don't know why it is, but if I wake up like really late, like 3 a.m. or something, and I can't go right back to sleep, I'm just up. Like, do you guys have any tricks for going back to sleep? I'd be like forcing myself not to look at my phone. If I even check the time on my phone, I'm yeah. just up. Like, that's the final frontier. If you pick your phone up, you're just, you're, you're awake. Oh, yeah, Man. I do. Re read the Bible, you go right back to sleep. <laughs> you go right back. Is that really what you do? I, I absolutely do. You know why? Because um, <laughs> maybe you're dressed to read the Bible. I, I am. I am a firm believer that there are good forces and bad forces in this world, and I feel like sometimes you don't know which one woke you up. <laughs> so. But you want to make sure you're on the right side of history. No, I'm saying <laughs> if it, if you can tell really quickly if it was some like bad evil spirit that woke you up. Guess what? <laughs> as soon as you look at that Bible, your body will collapse to sleep. I not? love. I love the idea of a demon in Megan's room, like. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen one before. You see the demon? I have, y'all. It was crazy. where you see the demon at? And when I lived in Koreatown by myself, I swear to you, like you know, like right before you fall asleep, there's like I swear there's like a different plane. I feel like that's the spiritual. Yeah, plane. they're like right be right in between. Like you're not all the way asleep, but you're it, not all the way it, awake. It Mm -hmm. Yes, that's like, to me, I think you cross over like a spiritual plane or something because I, it was in that moment I was laying down and I, I could see a like this black dark figure just like hovering at my door, like waiting basically. For that me. was mad. He like, I want to eat cereal, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, my kids almost got karate chopped in the throat in the middle of the night. Standing over you, breathing like, hey, 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 it's a monster. Boy, you finna see a monster right now. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, lived, I used to live in Koreatown, too. I, I'm pretty sure that was a home invasion that you saw. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how Koreans be. They be, like, robbing people like ninjas with a samurai mask on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you have ghosts that work? Yeah, wait. You said what? I did get burglarized in Koreatown. So, so did I. That's what I'm saying. That was, that was, a, that was a Korean. Meg, it be your own people. <laughs> <laughs> it was Mexican. It was a Mexican dude. We looked at the cameras. Oh, oh you just killed my joke. Have y'all uh, <laughs> have y'all had problems with insomnia? I've had that my whole life. I don't even know her. Who's that? What? <laughs> have you had? Have you guys had problems with insomnia since since the quarantine? I, I oh have. My God, been, yeah. I be having to like meditate before I like go to sleep. Who's my what do you do? You like study menus or? No, shut up. No, I actually just go on YouTube and I just play like meditation music and I just sit there. He and listening just... to whale songs and talking to yeah. his family. Yes. Uh, nope. <laughs> but you know, you Everybody know what I... laughing, but you. And you know what meditation music is? I want my baby back, baby back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, <laughs> don't, that don't. was a fire commercial and I'm sad it's gone. Don't uh, get the uh, Calm app. The Calm app really helps too. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that. Um, another thing I've been dealing with though, I was telling Kev this, my you focus my focus is off. Like I can't even finish a movie. Like I'll just sit there and I'll be like, for like 20 minutes and I'll be like, I can't just focus happened? on it. Yeah. yeah I, so I literally had to start doing a, a Z Quill. I've been taking Z Quill mm. like every other night. And that, that, that'll that knock you out. You on, that's lean to here. Don't get addicted to lean. It's, it's non-habit non -habit for me. It's non-habit non -habit for me. For me. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm good. You know, or you could do CBD oil. That really does help. 
It don't work for me. Well, you didn't. Did you get the one with THC in it? Because if you didn't, I tried. I tried melatonin first, and that didn't work. I tried those pills, and then but the Zequil really helps. I just put a straw in it. Melatonin gives me weird dreams. I'll be like dreaming of like a teenage mutant ninja turtle fighting a rat. Like it just be weird. It's, okay. That's just the plot of Ninja Turtles. That's just episode one. What are you <laughs> that wasn't that's even really ridiculous. When they're training them, that's how they. That's how the series started off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having weird dreams. I don't like melatonin. And then it makes me drag the next day, too. I don't like that. Who is Melatonin knocks you out? I feel like it doesn't do anything. Yo, it doesn't do it, it for me. Hey, remember when Pat was taking melatonin for, like, weeks and he thought it was a multivitamin? I didn't think it was a multivitamin. <laughs> it was just mixed in with my multivitamins. He was getting sleepy every day. <laughs> On purpose. I was in the morning, like, taking sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> Get your day off. I need some coffee. <laughs> to start his day off, he was taking a sleep aid. <laughs> they, uh, to be fair, the tops of all of my pills look exactly like. <laughs> That's hilarious. Tony right. on this one? Nah, Tony, Tony's just doing quarantine games with us. Tony done, I'm telling you. Hey, Pat, we got to keep this to an hour, right? Hmm? Are we supposed to keep this to an hour? No, this is one of the things that doesn't. <laughs> by the way, that was a great thing you said on the meeting, uh, Pat. We're, we're oh, filming. Okay. I mean, we're recording too, guys. Keep that in oh, mind. We're, oh, we're hot? The mics are hot? Okay. Always. As oh. soon as we start coming in. I, yep. It's per Kev's request. No, I... Because we I, might I, get some gold to hear. we we'll start recording immediately. It's a terrible Kevin best. impersonation. It wasn't It wasn't an impersonation. <laughs> it was actually making fun. Shut up, doe. <laughs> <laughs> Why you not at home, doe? Huh? Why you not at home? Because I came to the you, office so cause I you can came be more to, productive. You would be real productive. Shut up. You always you got, you got put out in an alley. That doesn't, but that, he, he's not at a hotel, though. Not, yeah, you're at a whole, a whole you was at a whole hotel. You went to that hotel because like you could wear yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> you know what wasn't a funny joke? I'm at my runner-up house. That wasn't funny <laughs> at all. Yo, that was so I felt, I felt so stupid looking, looking at myself, because at first I was laughing. I was just like, man, that's funny. Wait, wait, what is he saying? I didn't get it either. I didn't get it either. Everybody else was I, laughing. Got it, I got it immediately. Too, I, was like, yeah. I thought he was saying I was the runner-up. And I was like, yeah, I don't be winning stuff. And then I was like, no, no, everybody's still laughing. You must have missed something else. <laughs> <laughs> I should let be more stung just, by this. Let me do, oh, they've been in my DMs like crazy. Is that the runner up hat, Kathy? And do you like it? I'd be like, that's your Quantrell. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will be as bad as Quantrell. Quantrell lived on for like two years. I think it's he finally did. starting to cool off. It's finally starting to cool off. You know what's crazy about the Quantrell thing? Everybody instinctively spelled it the same way. Like this, all, everyone spelled How it. How else would you spell it? Like one L or two L. One L, E L E. I guess there's just no variety. All the people are like Q U A N T R E L L. This is the way that past imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, you guys, look at this. I just hit my 16 hours for my fast. This is a big deal for me. That was a side note. That was like a motherfucker, though. I just wanted you to know. I just fasted for 16 hours. I should have planned what, this out. What happens in everybody else's mind that says, I'm not going to change the subject to whatever I'm thinking about? That doesn't happen in Doughboy's mind. It just went off on the. Uh, the, the yeah, it's just like, on. Attention, yeah, but then, back to me. Attention. In your mind, it should be like, oh, they're talking about something else. I'll just wait. And your mind is like, a chance to make things about me? Take it. Hey, I man, can't that's... do. I can't do it. Like I, I try and I can't do it. My instinct is that, like, how people would react how I would react, which is, what? What are you nah, talking? Don't... about? Trust me, you don't. You don't want this life, Pat. They'll kick you out of all social circles. You Did don't. You want say this trust life. me. <laughs> you don't want this life. <laughs> no, I, of course I don't want this life. What do you mean, trust me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't Shut want up. that life. Shut up. Put the <laughs> mic away. It's not connected to anything. Are you serious? No, I like it for the aesthetic. It's yeah, not it's connected? Not, no. no. There's nothing in that office. Do, the, Do Do Boy does the everything. Doughboy does everything for attention. It's I know never, I don't. I know. It's I, I, I watch. It's for purpose. It's always I, for attention. No, Just look no, at me. No, look no, at me, my I, own I, 
Look at me, my own voice. No, 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 no. Look at me, my own voice. Look at look at me, my own voice. Listen. Look at me, my own voice. Yeah, but you have that in everything that you do. It's not connected in any one of your programs. No. No, I like attention because look at me, my own voice. I want to be the best podcaster ever, so I get myself in the aesthetic of. Man, I call I call too much stuff out. Come on, you got a microphone. I take off my shoes and I connect with the earth. It's kind of a whole thing. I'm leaving comments under all your stuff with the mic <laughs> saying that mic don't work. I don't like the fake theatrics. Go boy really end up having, he be losing his voice because he's speaking into a mic and not hearing himself amplified. <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh no, I'm in all your comments. I am in all your comments. And the I can't thing that's funny is that mic that you hear, you would never hear it because the the headphones, what are the headphones plugged into? No, the, no, the headphones are plugged into the laptop. I But I can't hear myself in here. I can just hear you guys. That's what I'm saying. The mic would be for the headphones to hear yourself in there. I like the way it looks. <laughs> I hate that kind of stuff. <laughs> Okay. Oh, side note, side note. Oh, no, 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 no. Side note. No, no. no. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I wasn't even about to say that. Side note. I was, <laughs> I was watching Dungeons, uh, Drunkies and Dragon back for clips. Since we're, <laughs> this nigga Will Ferrell lied the entire first episode for drinking. This nigga wasn't drinking nothing. And I went back to get clips. This nigga was like, Ugh. He was frauding. <laughs> <laughs> the fakeness. <laughs> Why did he go through all the, pre uh, the 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 whole thing of doing all that? <laughs> yeah, so what? The what was he? What was he either. fake drinking? He was just drink, just <sighs> just faking it every time. Man, it was water. I was out there <laughs> being a method actor. I Why? <laughs> but I'm I'm so glad Doughboy reminded me before Shit. we say anything. I can't believe Doughboy, as much as he talks about himself, never brought this up. This nigga admitted that when he got cornrows as <laughs> younger, he got extensions. Listen, Doughboy listen. Doughboy had like mystical. <laughs> <laughs> you had miss. You had brandy braids. He, listen, had, a, listen. he had a weave. <laughs> Wow. Listen, I, listen, it was during the time when Jaheem, Allen Iverson were winning in life. Hell no. Nah. I went to go get him. She was like, your edges is not going to let you do it. I had a photo shoot. I said, listen, we got to do it. Do what you got to do. I didn't technically say put fake hair in it. So did she burn the edge of your braids at the <laughs> end to get the glue done? Uh, only on, or did only you on get the barrettes side. and beads? <laughs> Now uh, this nigga got a Brazilian 16 in. <laughs> well, I, you sat there and made fun of Jay Taj when he came in with them four lights. I, I was just so about you to say that. that why would I, put, why would I bring the attention that. to myself? Everybody was laughing and having a good time. I don't want to yeah. be like this. You notice, are Notice me, my own attention. That notice nigga has wise braids. Doughboy doesn't know who Anita Baker is either. And he let me take all those arrows from the black community alone. And wow. he don't know who she is. And he older than me. Wow. Why would I throw myself in there? He was out there hailing his own. I was like, you got to care. No, boy, you are an ill-equipped adult. <laughs> shut up. Y'all under the bus techniques is second to none. <laughs> and I didn't know this until Black Blasphemy. Let's go back to this weave that you had. Oh, I don't want to talk what? about weave gate. Where did she buy the hair from? Did she already have no, the hair she was or you already, had to go pick it out? No, she was already a braider, so she was already versed in braiding. What's your hair sense. color? Are you a 1B or a 2? <laughs> you know that nigga a 4C. That nigga, got, that nigga had Native four American 4C is the hair. curl pattern to hear. 1B wait, is the color. Wait, I don't wait. Care. So, so to Why hear, do you know? Like, you don't even have hair. Well, I talked to my black wife. I know about things that relate to her life. <laughs> <laughs> don't let him be like that to hear. My wife, <laughs> my wife doesn't wear weed. So, <laughs> but you would you would know that your wife's natural. You would know that she has a a, a curl pattern. Man, fuck all that. And, and no I said I said four C. I had that part right. Hey man, Doughboy. shut up, shut up, man. Doughboy had a weave from. Y'all, wait, hold on. To here, you had cornrows. You ain't never added a little bit on the sides. <laughs> no, my my hair grows evenly. Now my my edges be the bullshit. It's just, Yo, with Doughboy. Wearing that Jason mask, if he was Jason, he would just be using that to cut whoppers in half. <laughs> <laughs> People would think no one's gonna kill him, and, he's, and they're at the barbecue grill, and he's they're like, no, no, kill me. He's like, no, just put over, put over, what? <laughs> and he just cuts the rotisserie chicken, and he's like, yeah, this is all. That nigga stocks a uh, brisket when they go to camp. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all, are y'all, uh, uh, It's just a bunch of hamburgers having a camp outing, and he's looking at them through the window. <laughs> That's such a funny 
funny visual, Pat. They, the cows hear a sound. They're like, what's that? You hear anything? And it's just dope. Boy. <laughs> at, at dope camp boy, barbecue. Are y'all are y'all really out here calling me Jason Porkies? I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He just has a Burger King bag on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of Burger King, though, but hold on, let's a... keep laughing at this uh -huh. though. <laughs> Imagine a cow, the cow looking back like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dope boy got a bag of charcoal briquettes in the other hand. There's a bunch of chicken strips skinny dipping at night. <laughs> He's just in the bushes. Chicken strips skinny dipping. Have y'all seen this new movie? Have y'all seen those new movies? What? Please be funny. Texas Toast Chainsaw Master. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not want that to work oh, at all. And my, mind, my mind was like, hey, oh, no, let's go back to Pat's hilarity. A bunch of chicken strips are like, hey, let's go down to the lake and go skinny dipping. No, man, I heard that Jason Porky's be out here. Man, that's an old myth. Are you crazy? Nothing ever happens out here. <laughs> this is a chicken strip. This is a chicken strip. Like, no, Jason, I told you not to wear married. <laughs> and Nova is just watching. Oh, uh, uh, hey, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, That's this Toast Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I, I want, want, I want the work. merch. <laughs> Texas Toast Chainsaw. Oh, God, to hear. And you, that's funny because we it waited a long time before you said the punchline. I just knew it's you work. were going to stumble. I was like, Lord, please don't let him stumble. Please let him get this one out. Texas Toast is not too many syllables. Chainsaw Massacre, he, he was coming up against a lot. <laughs> Yo, you know what would be funny if, if Tahir had commentators like gymnastics uh, commentators? All right, Tahir's going to attempt to say. <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre. Now, usually anything over three syllables really gives him a hard time. All right, here comes the setup. Amazing, he stuck the landing. What a job I did. <laughs> they try to put a medal over his neck, but they can't. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Hey, y'all seen that guy from 90 Day Fiance Ed and his neck is tucked in like that? Yo, what's wrong yes, with his neck? What's wrong with what's him? Wrong with his neck? That's to hear um, uncle. You're talking about from 90 Day Fiance? Yeah, yeah. And he has the nerve to be rude and shit. Like, bro, he was like talking to the girl, like, I hope you like it. She was like, cool, where's the passport at? <laughs> <laughs> and then there was like that viral clip about how he thought she was like, ugly. she said something about her being ugly or trashy or something like that. Oh, I didn't see that part. Yeah. Wait, wait, he called her ugly? He's like really rude like that. Yes, somebody Yo. just came out and accused him of sexual assault. So oh, Lord. <laughs> Steven, the you one know in the it. movies where Steven Seagal was net chopping people, he would be like, <laughs> what? All right, go like, this, go like this. I'm gonna just have to shoot you in the head. <laughs> slow, they gotta slow down the fight. So he goes, whoa, 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 what is Bro, this? Steven Seagal, ain't no way he was whooping you. That dude didn't do nothing fast. He, he really didn't. He, he pulled the lick on Hollywood. I don't oh, know. Oh, he was eat for like 20 years off of that. That's no, crazy. The only, the only other person that has more unbelievable fight scenes is Denzel and Equalizer. I don't believe none of that shit. <laughs> the, first, the first Equalizer nah. was fire, bro. You tripping. I, no, nah. his fighting scenes, though, I'd be like, bro. No. He's more believable than Steven Seagal. I don't think yeah. an action Way movie more believable. Nigga, no, but Steven Seagal with a is actually... can't lead that, um, an action film anymore. That could <laughs> never Steve... happen again. Steven Seagal was an actual martial artist, though. A what? A martial, martial artist. Martial artist. Martial artist. Said that shit like E40. <laughs> <laughs> the, the third taken, Liam Neeson was like a thousand years old. I was like, all right, just oh, right. take it easy. Yeah. I don't, Liam, I don't, I don't Liam, Liam, Liam Neeson, like Neeson did start old. acting. Yeah, he did no, acting. The first taken, his, it, sorry, the teenage daughter was only, she, she was like 30 something. Really? Yes, she was 30 Wait. years old when she played that role of his teenage daughter. 30 years old? 30. No, actors have oh, a history of that. A lot of actors do that. Like none of them was teenagers on Saved by the Bell. They was all grown up. No, the worst offense ever is Grease. The movie Grease, I was like, damn, these people are a hot 45. <laughs> Rizzo, is Rizzo the girl who, who thought she was pregnant with the cigarettes? No, ha uh, Hatchet Face. Man, first of all, all of them besides John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John were 18, 40 years before they made that movie. That's you're Olivia, you're Olivia Fig Newton, John. 
All right, let's just let's just kick it off from here. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, man. We're about to jump into this first <laughs> this first topic um, right after this. What up, guys? It's your boy to hear more, and I want to ask you, what is your comfort food? What is it? Because for me, it's cereal. Oh, there's no wrong time to eat a great bowl of cereal. You had a bad day? Bowl of cereal. You want a little snack after dinner? Bowl of cereal. Wake up in the middle of the night? Want that midnight snack? Bowl of cereal. It is comfort food. It is feel-good food, and you don't feel too bad for it. Now, the reality is, as an adult now, I realize that I shouldn't be eating cereal at 1 in the morning. It is very problematic for your boy. I'm trying to lose weight. At some point, I want to be a sex symbol. I want the, the abs and all of that right there, but I can't keep doing it, eating regular cereal at 1.30 in the morning. However, if I'm eating Magic Spoon cereal, then maybe I can. not Because Magic Spoon offers four different delicious flavors. You have cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. And not only, not only that, guys, we're talking about a cereal that is zero, zero sugars. 12 grams of protein and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. And not only that, wait, there's more. Yes, there's more. Not only that, guys, but we're also talking about a cereal that is keto friendly. That's right. I said keto friendly for all my people out there on keto. I know you got to watch your carb intake. You don't have to worry about that. This is keto friendly. It's gluten free. It's grain free. It's soy free. It's low carb and GMO free. What could be better? Well, if it was delicious, and it is, oh, y'all, it's delicious. So listen, guys, all you got to do to check out this delicious cereal by Magic Spoon is go to magicspoon.com forward slash S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. That's squad. Magicspoon.com forward slash squad to get a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to make sure that you put the promo code in. That promo code is squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, and you won't Regret it. Trust your boy. First topic of the day, we have Samuel L. Jackson versus Lawrence Fishburne. And just to let everybody at home know, Patrick and Quantrell, they're having a discussion. He couldn't be here right now. We don't want to get into that, so he'll be back when Quantrell says so. Okay, cool. No, boy, <laughs> this is Samuel L. Snackson and Lawrence Fishsticks for you. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually a tough one because you have to lose all their work if you eliminate them, right? Yeah. Or we just say which one we like more. Okay. Um, because Samuel Jackson has been in more films that are important, but I like the, the performances that Lawrence Fishburne has done more. He has more memorable roles. Like? I can see like that. Boys in, like Boys in the Hood, like What's Love Got to Do With It, Matrix. <clears throat> like those are all films, like I feel like he was- He was also in John Wick. I, I've never seen John Wick, and I'm I'm gonna watch it this week. Have you seen John Thick? Shut He's starring in it. <laughs> the, mo the movie is all about him putting on swim shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him trying out different thick milkshakes. Like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll try this one now. Well, this is even thicker. <laughs> I would have to agree. I would have to agree with though. Uh, Samuel has definitely made more movies, but Lawrence Fishburne's role, like even in Matrix, he wasn't the star like Keanu was, but he has such a memorable role and such a important part of that movie that. Bro, uh, and, what and about Samuel Jackson okay. is in To Kill a Mockingbird. He's in Coming to America. He's in all those Avengers he's in films. Pulp Fiction, like Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, how can you say he's not as he, he had memorable roles too? He was I'm in Coming to America not, for one scene. I'm not and, saying and he, I'm not saying he he doesn't have memorable memorable role. I'm ooh, saying ooh, ooh. Yeah. all right, to hear just you stuck with a little you bit on memorable. Say, you didn't say memorable right now. He did such a good <laughs> job on Texas Toast Chainsaw Massacre. We're really surprised to see him come through one word, but it's a lot of syllables. We have hey, that, you, is, Tom. that is hilarious. <laughs> I really wish I had somebody to explain what was going on for me. Uh, but this I'm is saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, well, can I finish the thought, nigga? Can you? Go ahead. <laughs> what I'm saying is that he did such a great job in those roles that sometimes he wasn't even the lead, but he did it so well that you couldn't help but think of that movie without thinking of his role as well. That's what I'm saying. I, I, do, if, I do feel that, but I also feel like Samuel L. Jackson in the few movies that he has led, I feel like he fumbled the ball, like changing lanes. I was like, bro, what, are you, what? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when he when he leads a movie like by himself, 
it don't really be fire. But when he's like a supporting actor, it's amazing and great and some of the best stuff I've ever seen. He led um he led the negotiator and he was amazing in that. I haven't seen that. Okay, well Wait, are you talking about Samuel Jackson? Yeah, yeah. Samuel Jackson. Hold on, let me pull up his uh Okay, I'll pull up his, Lawrence uh, Fishburne, you pull up Samuel. Yeah, I'll pull up his you pull up Lawrence Fishburne, I'll pull up Samuel Jackson. I mean Lawrence Fishburne, his movie A Time to Kill the Oh I'm sorry, go ahead, man. 19, I'm sorry, 1972. If you, if Earl, you know. Earl Cornbread and Me. Wait, what? Is it Earl Cornbread and Me? That was his first movie? Oh, Cornbread Earl and Me. Yeah. No, that wasn't his first. That was 75. But if you give a dance, you got to pay the band. That was his first movie in 1972. And then he was on One Life to Live. I didn't know that from 74 to 76. Okay. He was also on uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, I think. Was he? I think so. And he was in Deep Cover. Deep Cover was good with Jeff Goldblum. <clears throat> he was also in uh, was Jackie awesome. Brown, the first three Star Wars, Rules of Engagement, Shaft he led. Unbreakable, he killed as the lead in Unbreakable. Unbreakable was not a good movie. I didn't like that movie. Are you crazy? That was one of, that was one of M. Night's phenomenons that I was like, nah. No, I didn't that, make was, it through. that was when he got That's back. Bad. That was the first one that got him out of the slump. I didn't like it, Kevin. I just didn't like it. But that doesn't like mean it. He, it was bad. You have terrible taste in movies, so when you don't like something, that means absolutely nothing. No. Also, <laughs> clothing, outfits, tennis yeah. shoes. Also, Frozone, he's great. Done. He's done great uh, voice work. That scene in Incredibles where he asks his wife for a super suit. Woman, where is my super suit? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. That whole scene. He, he does. He does really yeah, well at voice he does. I do yeah. like him on voice. I over. forgot about him in The Incredibles. He is Coach hiring. Carter, he led. He did good at that. He was good in that. He was. And good you know what? I mean, I don't think anyone has used the the MFR term as well as Samuel L. Jackson. Oh man! Yes. And Pulp oh, Fiction. Yeah. Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's in my top. And five. Doughboy, you love Django, and he was good as, in he that. Killed that. But, see, but he's supporting in that. He's supporting oh, in yeah, both he of those is, movies. He is supporting I feel like he, you can make an argument that he might be the best supporting actor of all time. Maybe, yeah, I, he might be the greatest supporting actor ever. No. His 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 catalog is deep. Star Wars, like he's he's got a lot. True. He got that, like, that might that's yeah. a solid uh that's a solid claim. I, yeah. He yeah. really don't he leads movies, but his to Doughboy's point, his his supporting role, the, the movies he in he's in where he's supporting tend to be bigger movies. Yes. But that he doesn't act bad when he's a lead. He just right. tends to you know, he's also been in a lot of big movies. The and, movies, uh, and, stuff and uh, I mean, the Marvel stuff and the Star Wars stuff, those are some huge movies. And what I like about him, too, is that he can take a small scene and own it. Like, his scene in Coming to America is one of my favorite scenes of the movie. Like, he can, he can command a scene when he's in it, even if it's not that big. You know, he didn't, he didn't start acting until, like, 41 or something. And he was a... Uh, he's like he, 70 or something. Ain't he here? Who? I think he is 70. Damn. Ain't he, like, 70 or something? Yeah. Something like that. His first, his first gig was a Crystal's Jungle commercial. Fever. Was a Crystal's commercial. He did the voiceovers for a Crystal commercial. Wow, seventy-one years old. Uh, I think it was. Uh, what you call it? it was, no, Jungle Fever was his first movie, though. I said his first, like, like his first acting thing was like a voiceover for a commercial. It's I disagree. Oh, uh, uh-uh, Tim I, I disagree. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's. Well, Cabin. Let's let's look it up. Let's take it. We, we all, you talking about his first big movie to hear? No, I was talking about like his first project. His first project was a commercial. He did a a, a Crystal's commercial. He did the voiceover for. for well, him. the reason why I thought it was Jungle Fever because he was talking about there was a time where he was actually on drugs and he got sober, and then I think that was the first one after it. So that's why I thought that one was his first one. Who? Which one of them did better in School Days? Ooh. Uh, no, oh, oh, Fishburne. I don't even remember School Days like Lawrence that. Lawrence Fishburne. I just seen it recently, and it's Lawrence Fishburne killed that. And once again, Samuel Jackson was supporting that, but his scene was good. They, they was at the KFC, right? I forgot. Yeah, it was. I don't know. When I go through who I like better, I feel like I like Samuel L. Jackson better. His movies are better. He's, I don't know. I just feel like he's more. Y'all watch Blackish? Do you watch Lawrence Fishburne in Blackish? Oh, he was, he was great yeah. in Blackish. Yeah, he's, he's great. great. He's great. Absolutely he's great. really funny in Blackish. I mean, Sam is really funny too. And they're really, is Sam, they're is really Sam funny? People. Is Sam funny? No, yeah. Sam be funny. He in that Vince movie when he started turning to dust, and he was like, "Mother." Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, I don't know, man. This is a tough one. I think because of volume, you almost got to go Samuel Jackson because it's just too many classics that he's been a part of. I think it's more classics than Lawrence Fishburne. But, I mean, Lawrence Fishburne has killed it in, in the things that he's done, but just the sheer output of what Sam has done, I think I, it's, it's got to be Sam for me. Man, I don't it's like that. That Neo character? Yeah, uh, that was might have been the most important character, including Neo in the Matrix. You mean Morpheus? Oh yeah, Morpheus. Oh, yeah, what did yeah. I say? Neo? You said y'all see this? Yeah. That was. <laughs> I already looked. Oh, how old was he in there? That was like nineteen. What did they say? Nineteen sixty-eight. It's nineteen sixty-eight or something. So he was probably like in his twenties. Jeez, Sam been working. 20. His first movie role was in nineteen seventy-two. And then on IMDb, he has 190 actor credits. Lawrence Fishburne has 119. Yeah. And, and 190. Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson is very smart, too. He took less money for a lot of his films and took points on the back. So he's made a ton of money. He's super yeah, rich for the movies that he's been in. So yeah. you, took, you took points on the baby back. Mm. Ribs. Mm. What do you like? What do you like to hear? Samuel Jackson or, or... <laughs> <laughs> I like uh I don't know, man. Cause here's the thing. My my attachment to Lawrence Fishburne will always be Matrix, because it's one of my favorite movies. And then uh what's love got to do with it? Because he acted so well, I literally Damn. had disdain for him for years. A mm. long I, time. That's I, good acting. That's good yes. acting. That's like, really I, good. A I, long I time. I did not like him at all. I was like, I don't want to see anything that man said. He's the devil. And it was just really good acting. And now and that meme from that movie is just all people talk about. That meme where Ike's turning around. Oh, my God. That, <laughs> that is you, hilarious. Yo, you know what? I think people don't, I don't want to say that it's a slept on thing because that'll make it seem like I'm trying to make a joke of it, but people don't really give enough credit to the performance both of them had in that movie. I think that might have been both of their best performances of their careers. Well, uh, Angela? And what, yeah, what's love got to do with it? Oh, yeah, oh, no, no, she gets you. the credit. She yeah. definitely gets the credit. Yeah. Like that. that was amazing. That was just such, I'm going to watch that tonight. That was a really good movie. That movie was great. When she snatched his sideburn off in the limo, <laughs> And he broke the heel on her, and they had to get out that limo like everything was okay. Yeah. He flicked up in the face and walking like, bro. Like, when she was at the hotel, bloody. But see, hold on. Let me ask you guys this though: Has Samuel L. Jackson ever given you a performance anywhere near that? His performance in Pulp Fiction is amazing, and his yeah. performance in A Time to Kill is amazing. Like he really, he really flexed out. Like, oh, bro, don't don't trip. I I, I got this. I can still act. Yeah, he got chops. He, got he never turns in a bad performance. Like he, he's mm -hmm. really Y'all didn't like him in Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> no, I feel like that was, was obviously a check. That was obviously. Right. But here's the thing. Another thing about Sam that I like, he is an A-lister actor, but he's not afraid to take risks on roles that for movies yep. that aren't big. Like, I like a lot that, of people, a lot of people won't do that, man. Like you'll see Samuel Jackson on Sharknado, and he'd be like, I'm getting the bag. I think he said something about like being able to stay relevant by doing smaller projects, and like that's how you grab the younger generation and make them fans. So, did you see that that clip of him? He was working on the banker, and someone was like, "Hey, Sam, can I get a picture?" He's like, "No, nigga, I'm working." <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, he's a regular black, like, bro, I'm at work right now. Can you move? He said, no, that is, that's right. hilarious. Did y'all see the banker? I, nah. I, I keep hearing that it's really it's slow. It's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I got watch it, but then I watched the trailer and I was I, I got disinterested. Yeah, it's 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 it's, a, it's it's definitely not like action packed or anything like that. But it's a good performance from. It, it's from based Henry. on a true story. Yes, yes, it is. Based is in it LA, the... right? Huh? Yeah, right, yeah is no. it based in LA. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check that out. It's on Apple Plus, right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I got I'm sure you got. You get it for free if you got a. If you bought well, a. Well, yeah, I got. No, Kev has the Platinum Edition. He has Apple Pie Plus. That's what he watches all his stuff on, Apple Pie. <laughs> all right, so... Um, <laughs> Time to vote. <laughs> Let's get out of body. Apple Pie Plus? Plus? I knew you were going to say that, and in my mind, I was like, just let him get it out. It'll be better for you this time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But wait, has, has Lawrence Fishburne done any animated stuff? 
Because that's also like a, a no. lead on Sam. I, I can remember no. where he was prominent, like 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 Sam as Frozone. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. sure he has, but I don't know if it's anything as prominent as that. Oh, I want I want Sam saying motherfucker as my ringtone. I think that would be dope. Oh my gosh. Answer the phone, I, motherfucker. I she says it so hard. Yeah. It, his motherfucker is as synonymous with him as the way bitch is with two Ooh, shorts. Ooh, synonymous. Come on, big words to hear. Let's get it. Okay. He was okay. really right he back on track. He's having a, gonna... a pretty solid episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's just that one memorable. He kind of tripped up, but other than that, <laughs> Bro, he's doing well. Back did you make a show about your thoughts, co like commentating on the words you try to say? Bro, that's man. I was, I Sam was funny in Soul Men too. I don't know if y'all saw that. Yes. I saw, yeah, oh, I saw Soul Men. I was going to say, do y'all remember that? Bernie um, was in that. Yeah, Bernie was in that. You remember Lawrence Fishburne's daughter was doing porn? Mm hmm. She had spots on her butt. I do remember that. What? She she remember spots that? On her you saw yes. it? Mm hmm. She had, wait, wait. She has what to hear? She, she has spots, spots on, her, on she her butt. She had spots on her booty. She did. Spots on her butt? Do you remember this? Yeah, it was an unattractive butt. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what was going through his mind as like, here I am, an A-list actor, my daughter's doing porn. Her butt looks like my face. A lot of craters. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Why you said that so matter of fact? Yeah, she had an unattractive butt. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, ah, right, if, uh, if I can't if watch I, this one. If I had to make a decision, just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Sam Jackson, just cause he's got too many iconic roles. And he be killing it, and it's just not enough volume there. Yeah. I, had to, I had to fast enough. I was like, I gotta find something else. This one ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Samuel L. Jackson. I'm going with Samuel L. Jackson as well because to me, he just, I mean, the man is the de definition of what you wanna be if you're an actor. He's a working actor, he's been a working actor, and he's done great. Big roles, small roles, and he puts yeah, out- Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna agree with you, Meg. I, I, I think he has just, by the nature of his choice to, to work, he's been in more movies that I like. I, I think Doughboy had a really good point of like, Lawrence Fishburne is really iconic in probably more roles. But Sam as Nick Fury, he's in like three of my top 10 superhero movies. I was, I was yeah. That was the and point I was And he's so gonna... good as Nick Fury, like he yeah. is, Great as Nick, and he's not even a big part of that movie, but he's always enjoyable in mm -hmm. everything I ever see him in. I'm never like, yeah. oh, here goes Sam. You know what I mean? It's never that like he's doing he, too much. Yeah, he never but phones he, it in. How many man? 190 movies? 192. That is, bro, movie. You know how many movies that is? That's a lot. You know I mean? 190 movies. Wow. That is in. So I'm looking at his IMDb. Most years. He has three, minimum three movies coming out. In 2019, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies that he was in in just two. Wait, 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 what, what, what movies were these though? Tell us these movies. Glass, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, Shaft, Spider-Man Far From Home, The Last Film Measure, uh, The First Eight, which was a documentary, and then Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, he, he did the voice. And I bet if you did the math, <laughs> Four of those movies were probably in the top five of the movies from last year. I think he's cumulatively he made the most money in Hollywood. I, I think I've heard that so much. So or his really? mo his movies has or him. His movies have. Yeah, his movies. Really? Yeah, something like something that. Crazy. Bro, something crazy. Bro, he's in the first three Star Wars and all those Marvel movies. That's that's a lot of big box office movies. Yep. He's in uh, the Black Dynamite cartoon too. Sam be getting this money, bro. He does, bro. He and he said he don't, mean, he don't even charge crazy on everything. He charged crazy when he got to charge crazy, but he'll be doing the little stuff for the little bit. For yeah. the little bit? If he just likes acting, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the difference from people who just enjoy what they do. They're like, that's all right. You share your gift with, your, with the world, you get blessed in other ways. Man, he's, he's done a lot. Like, he's attached to too many franchises and movies that I love. Like, Lawrence Fishburne definitely has... Um, the Matrix from me, but Sam has like the Marvel movies, like you guys said. He also has the Star Wars franchise. Um, he also did um, Boondocks. He did uh, Coming to America. We didn't even talk about he that. Did about, oh my God. I totally forgot like about Dynamite. Boondocks. I totally no. forgot about Boondocks. He, That's he, the voiceover he, work we was talking about. Yeah. yeah. And Sam. Glorious Bastards. Wait, Afro who was Sam in Boondocks? He was one of the characters. He was just uh, one of the characters. He wasn't like one of the main characters. He wasn't, because Nia, uh, not Nia. Um, Regina King. Regina, Regina King did Huey and, and oh, Riley. He, no, he's Jen Rummy. 
Oh, mm-hmm. oh, it was just like a recurring role. Yeah, yeah. But he also did Afro Samurai. Did y'all did y'all watch that? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I didn't watch it, but I'm I'm aware of it. Yeah, I yeah. know what it is. I, he's got I, he got he got too many connections to some stuff that I love. So I got. Oh, and he was on Blame It on the Alcohol <laughs> video. He sure <laughs> was randomly in that. <laughs> They could just be working. Like low working. key, if you if we had a movie and we was like, Sam, we got 10k for you for one day, he'd be like, ah, do it on a ah. Tuesday. I'll be in it. <laughs> yeah, we should, should ask. We should hit him. We up. should do it. it <laughs> I thought about that. The only thing though, when you get an actor like that, it's got to be SAG all the way around, and that raises everybody's rate. Everybody. But if we do SAG new media, we might be able to get away with it. Oh no, hey. you absolutely can if it's SAG new media. I would look. Right. We get we get him and we get a. Uh, oh, we forgot Grand Theft Auto. He's his, he voices Officer Frank Tenpenny. I don't, have you, I don't, uh, have you ever played Grand Theft Auto, Megan? Yeah, I've absolutely. Oh, okay. I have an older brother. Okay, so what do you think mm-hmm. I was playing? <laughs> Meg, what are those things behind you? Are those all your degrees? No, those are not my degrees. In my class, I'm not that accomplished. That's my fiance oh. stuff. But that's mine right there. What, the newspaper thing? No, that's the quote that I, I chose. Oh, shit, I ain't got no class, <laughs> but I did put these letters up on the wall. Right. It's Aristotle's that, quote. Yeah, I was going to say, that's Aristotle's quote. You just put it up. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. That's a work. Well, I'm going with Sam Jackson for the reasons aforementioned. Me too. I will, I Here, also give a, aforementioned a try. <laughs> aforementioned. Ooh. Oh, or a, a weird pronunciation on the Afor part. But at least you the back I thought that's how you said it. I don't say it like that. I say aforementioned. Okay, he said one both worse this time. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to run it back like he did it right. I said you said it wrong. Aforementioned. Twice, aforementioned. Aforementioned. Right. He's, he's that's what I said the first time. Three hundred and ninety ninth place. <laughs> aforementioned. Yeah. Aforementioned. There you go. There you go. See, y'all saying it differently. Aforementioned. Afor- afor- it's aforementioned. That's what I said the second time. That is not what you said. Any of the times to hear can you it, prove it? Not sound like that. Can you, can yes, we can it? run the tape back. Yes, run we can it prove back. It. No, it's it's on my computer. You can't run anything. Back. <laughs> What's a computer? What's a computer? Tell me. And no boy, you don't run. So we're gonna move on to this the next. Folks. Fourth of July, get them all out now. Get them all yeah, out. Nigga, you know, know how many know. years Doughboy's been doing this? That's uh, at least, this is probably the fourth year he's been saying get them all out. And it makes sense because the fourth of July is gonna be the last time I do it. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> there, those glasses are fire. Thank you, my boy. I'm I mean, not, they're not I'm prescription, are you? You don't need glasses, do you? I do. I do need them. Yo, I, Yo, I, I think- here. I meant to ask you this. You know Terry Crews, um, he has a downtown apartment uh, separate from his wife and them. He has a whole downtown apartment. I was watching it on Architectural Digest. When you get the money you deserve, are you going to get a place like that? No, I just need, I just need a, a space, like a big enough space just to, like, Work and exist. So if you guys got a house and you had like your man cave, then you yeah. wouldn't have to go. Uh, I saw this tweet that's interesting, Meg. You might like this. It said you should not have a man cave in your house unless she has a room of the same man, size listen. in the house. She could oh, definitely, listen. definitely, she could do that. I think we all. I think that is important, and I think it's essential to have yeah. that getaway. Because the dudes was arguing on there to hear. They were saying that the rest of the house is hers. And the the women in there was arguing that that's not the rest. The rest of the house is everybody. If you have right, a, every, exactly. a certain space, then she should have a certain space. Absolutely, I agree with that. Me and my I, wife have that. Don't boy, you don't respect women, so obviously I you don't absolutely respect. do. But we're looking at it. I'm if I get this joint, and I'm looking at four bedrooms. I was like, I'm getting a man cave. Facts. I don't care, and and nobody can come in there, but me. What's going on? We're talking You're about talking man about caves man. and houses and things. Oh. I don't know about that. I, I mean, I'm cave. just saying, who, first of all, who gonna clean it? Because if that's your man cave and nobody can come in there, I hate who gonna the clean term it? Well, I mean, I can get I, it. I, I, mean, she, I, she can come clean it, but she can't I hate the term man cave. No, no, see, that's not Because <laughs> I don't want her to hang out. I need, that's why I just need to be me. I just need Is this that. your area of the house, Meg, that you're no, in? No, this is, this is Marlon's, like, office. I mean, he does have another desk in here, but this is basically his office, his man cave, whatever. And guess who gotta clean it? Because he don't I, clean in it. I hate the idea of having a like a full house and only one room that you can be yourself and chill at. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I so Bashik Maniscalco has a really good joke about that. He was like, my father, he has a super Italian accent that I won't try to do. He was like, my father has a, uh, my father would never have a man cave. The whole house is his man cave. That's I mean, that's, that's kind of real. Is that the joke? I mean, no, we have, but we have a pool table. So I guess that's down, <laughs> but it's not like, it's not a way. <laughs> 
Kev hasn't been as, as creative since the runner-up got picked. <laughs> oh, my, my kids had to go to bed early for that joke. <laughs> go to bed. It's 617. Yeah, Shut your it, mouth. Yeah, and go to my bed. house bigger than the house I was building? This house? Yeah. It's about the same size. This house is crazy, though. <laughs> Backyard is out of this world, though. The backyard at the other house was not dope. This That's backyard, insane. this backyard is crazy. Does it have so, a pool? You got a pool, right? Yes, I did Yo, you know you, you know you can do swimming for the workouts. That's a great workout swimming. Okay. I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, swim like yeah. that. Are y'all planning on staying there after the world opens back up, or are you guys still gonna try to finish and get the other house? Honestly, bro, I was telling Doe this this morning. I might just rent and and invest the money I would put in a down payment. Because if the housing market is going to be shaky, I do not want to own houses in L.A. on a shaky market. That's going to be hard. No, no, no. It's not that it's shaky. It's that actually you probably want to buy something by the end of the year or beginning of next year because I just read um, an article that housing prices are down 21%. So it's a great time to buy. But then if you want to sell it, you're not going to be able to. You're just going to have well, a you ain't gonna Well, it wouldn't it be a flippable. It wouldn't be a house to flip. Like, it would yeah. be a house that you would be. It would be a stay. rental property. Or you could Honestly, I've been thinking about investing the money I would be in in be putting in a down payment into other stuff that I want to do. That's smart. And plus I already own houses. I would rather buy I would rather buy a lot of wait, more wait, wait, wait. in the south. Yeah he said plural houses. Yeah he, he said houses he out here Kevin where are your houses know. at Kev? I know about the one in Seattle where's the other house Kev? I just own a couple of rental properties bro don't hey, worry man. man. Hey. Conver conversation oh, in North Carolina I remember that you do have one that's South fucking, Carolina right. Mm. How do you, you just, are they just random tenants and you just hit them up every month? No, 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 no. They're family, they're one in North Carolina, South Carolina for my sister. Why? Tacoma, ever, Tacoma I just have a renter. I got a renter Tacoma. He's, he's great. He actually improved the house. He, he, I went back to visit it one time. He put hardwood floors in a pool table. I was like, let me have it back. <laughs> <laughs> you I didn't know it had this type of potential because I'm not really good with my hands and stuff like that. So I can't be doing you know what I'm saying? I can't put hardwood floors in. I'd be like, well, I don't know how to do wood. Hey, are y'all good at like interior design? No. My I wife is. I'm not good at none of that yeah. shit. I, I gave your wife props. I was like, oh, I, I am. I, even I don't think I have any style in any part of my life. Bruh. I, it's, you're, it's, alone. you're not alone. You're not alone. I would pay if I had like, if I hit it big and I bought a crazy mansion and I wasn't married to my wife, I see why celebrities just pay people. Because when you have a nice house and you don't know what to do with it, you end up making your house look dumb. If you like a like rapper. A, you like, like a, a rapper. rapper. They're, bro, they just be put, it's like a man, they just be putting stuff in they there got, that don't even they go. Got a, they got platinum plaques and they just be leaning up against the wall. Yeah. The <laughs> it's like Michael Scott. Remember, Pat, when they did the, the dinner at Michael's house and he had that, that St. Pauli girl? It's just like, it's, this don't even go in here. Right. <laughs> it's just like that. Like I realize that's a, a skill that people have. That mm -hmm. it, it's a certain skill. Mm -hmm. Symmetry, colors, textures. Whenever I stuff. move and I have to decide like where stuff goes, I feel illiterate. I'm just yeah. like a uh, bed, uh, table. <laughs> like it's right. so dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a I'm terrible at, at interior decoration. I know most people are like most girls should be. I'm terrible. I actually will like hire my friends who are just really. There. Yes, I have them come over. I'm like, okay, I need to revamp this room. And they'll go shopping with me. They'll be like, okay, what? Don't ask questions. I'm like, oh, so yeah. I, I don't have a vision for that stuff. I, you I love it. Me. I love doing that. Like, I love your it. background is great, though. Like, I feel yeah. like you did a dope like, job with your. But I you know, know what you I noticed? It. But here's something that you, like, most people who dress, who are, like, very fashionable, are also good at interior design. Most I mean, of oh, them. yeah, for sure. For so sure. So, so that would mean I'm great at interior design. No, 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 no. All right, let's go ahead and roll it to the next topic. Probably, it's going to be uh, probably design <laughs> inside of a pizza joint. <laughs> fried fish versus fried chicken. This is one of my favorite running jokes that you do to him. It works what? so consistently. What? <laughs> when Doughboy says something dumb, to here just moves it to the next. <laughs> 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 I had it. Hey, what was it? Fried fish versus what? Fried chicken. What was the oh, last? One? I just want to put my vote in. Uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne Sam versus Sam Jackson. Who? Lawrence Lawrence Fishburne versus Sam Jackson. Who won? Sam Jackson, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. And next topic we have fried fish versus fried chicken. This is a good one. Is, oh, by the way, is, uh, wait, wait, Pat, is everything okay with you and Quantrill? <laughs> oh, wow, you ran it back. It still works. It, it works. It's better the second 
fucking time. That was okay. hilarious. That was funny. That worked. Y'all, y'all on good terms. You didn't. She said it like she didn't just say it. it. She's a great actress. This is. I was I hoping she was gonna run it back. It's so good. It worked so well. You didn't throw none of his stuff out. Or he Wait, Meg, Meg, stuff. Are, you, are you still beefing with your wedding planner? <laughs> yeah, we are. You trying to charge me ridiculous rates? Is she still calling you like fam? What <laughs> is it? <laughs> It could have been this year, no way. The world is closed. I'm so grateful because at, at first we were saying 2020, and I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my well, God. That's so funny. <laughs> it was like, oh, a pandemic? Oh, another year <laughs> off the books. <laughs> Why is that? You know what? That is so sexist. Why do you think Megan, that? Megan, you. How do you know it's not me? How do you know it's not me saying that to him? Because it's funnier the other way, Meg. Way funnier this way. <laughs> Megan, you, who cares about the truth? It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter. Even if you were married, I'd be like, he ain't happy. The joke I'm not going to change. I don't care about the truth. I'm sure he is happy. He's a nice guy. But these jokes don't come, rug off. Whatever. For the record, we respect your relationship. But I this know, is but I don't care. No, that's it. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. Are we invited to your wedding? Yeah, y'all can come. Y'all want to come? I mean, but it's going to be. I'm busy like... that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't expect anybody to come because it's going to be probably um, in a different country. So. Do we have to learn? Oh, the that's the flex where you don't. That's how you get out of having people come to your wedding when you really didn't want that many people anywhere. I'll do that destination wedding. Anywhere. You could put it in Juarez, Mexico. Ah, out of the country. I'm out. I got to get a passport. And here's, okay. the, here's the crazy thing, Kev. It's not going to be out of the country. You know, Marlon is like a computer whiz. They're going to just green screen it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like when John Exotic was on the run. He was like, I'm in Barbados. Like, oh, that's Florida. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> and Venice Beach and the signs in the background. He's like, man, foreign water. <laughs> hey, Meg, oh. is, is your family going to do the Korean slide? <laughs> <laughs> the Coco slide? Just, I feel like, what is the Korean slide? Just a bunch of Asians like, going da, the da, wrong da, way, da, clapping off the beat. Da, 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 so the sandals, the sandals sliding across oh, the floor. <laughs> hey, Ben, are you having a traditional Korean wedding or anything like that? No, we'll probably have parts of it, but what is what 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 goes into a traditional Korean wedding? I uh, think the, like about the clothing. It. We'll probably take pictures. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff imported. That's because Tim had a, he had two weddings. He had a Thai wedding and he had a, actually he might have had three weddings. He had a traditional, a Thai and a Korean wedding. To the same woman? Yeah. Why they run family in, in, in there's a Thai wedding in, in her culture they had a Eritrean wedding and then they had a regular wedding. So the Eritrean people were like, I'm not going to the Thai wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we beefing with them. <laughs> anyway, Doughboy asked Tim why he got didn't get invited to his wedding, and Tim was like, I, I would never the ask I was anybody like, why they didn't invite me to anything. I couldn't take the embarrassment. I want to know the answer. You it's don't want to know when you find out it was on purpose. Like he thought about it, he was like, mm. <laughs> why, why do you do that to yourself? Why, uh, no boy? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. I just, <laughs> you're just I'm just, a glutton. <laughs> And I, I, I didn't that nigga, that nigga, <laughs> just a glutton. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga Tim couldn't afford the catering if Doughboy came. A <laughs> hundred dollars a plate. <laughs> I was gonna put I was gonna put him in the red. <laughs> oh man, just give me whatever is expensive, unless they're red. <laughs> All right, fish fried, fried fish or fried chicken. Go. This is probably the easiest one ever. I don't rock with fried fish. Fried so. chicken is is more consistently good, and more places make fried chicken good than fried fish. Now, however, that's not the, that's not the question. Can I explain myself? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> fried fish, when done right, is probably more of a delicacy than fried chicken. When the right Ooh. person makes like fried catfish and it's fresh out the green. Ooh. That is superior to the best version of fried chicken. I don't think so. Don't you gotta pick, ah, bro. Don't you gotta pick fish. Hold on, hold on. I don't have what to do it? anything. What do, I understand <laughs> nothing. What well, uh, what what are must haves with your fried fish? Like I have to have hot sauce, hot sauce and pickles hot with my fried what fish. Kind of I gotta fish have though? hot what sauce kind of, and yellow mustard. What kind of fish? Yeah. Catfish. I mean, 
Yeah, let's just go catfish fillet. No, 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 you know, but but that's I I do want to say that's a different point because when you have fried chicken, you think typically of like a drumstick or a flat, like that's it, or maybe a wing, but you don't really go through like I'm not really trying to have a, a fried breast or fried thigh. Like usually it's wings yeah. or it's like yeah. a drumstick, right? Yeah. But then when you think about fried fish, you could have fried catfish, you could have uh, white fish, you can have tilapia, you can have red snapper. You, there's so many different varieties mm -hmm. of fish. Yeah, and they are bomb. And you, know, every, and you can have fillets or you can have nuggets. Like catfish nuggets. Catfish nuggets? Feed it. I'll, I'll take catfish nuggets over, over over chicken nuggets any day, bro. Nah, I don't know about fried that. chicken I would. fried Fried I chicken will. will just make your day better. You could be having a bad day. The right piece of fried chicken gonna fix some shit. Not if you have no, not if you like on life support and you shouldn't be eating that food you six hundred pounds, <laughs> but it ain't gonna make your day better. Yo, one time I was watching my six hundred pound life and the lady had a she was frying chicken in her bed. I was like, God dog. <laughs> wait, wait, how did she wait? How did she get a stove there? It, no, no she that, had a little, hot plate. Uh, that gre the greasy uh, the, yeah, uh, the little she had the hot plate. plates. One of that her is... kids brought her the hot plate and the chicken and she would fry them all up some chicken. And that and chicken like, that looked is, flames. How much power do you have to have as a six hundred pound person stuck to a bed? And say, get me that fried chicken. <laughs> I'll get I'll get out of this bed if y'all don't. <laughs> and this was super flexible. And, and, she had and, her legs spread out like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Like you're I, super flexible. It's like I, I gotta do what I gotta do to fry this chicken. You understand me? I, I, I don't know if I don't fried know. chicken at that point. Because don't nobody care about life, Tat Pat. Yeah. Tat Pat. Tat Pat. It looks like Kevin is also struggling to work. <laughs> oh, this is a whole inside joke you missed, Pat. Oh man! I, I'm gonna catch you up because I wanted to continue after this. Okay. I said, "What it would be, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if Tahir had commentators who who talked about how he tr he messed up?" Work I was there for that. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was oh, in the beginning, but, but you couldn't get your, it out right there. Your, your recap was the bullshit. It was. I was like, "This isn't funny at all." I said it. Hey guys, it looks like Doughboy is still fat, even though countless claims he says he's gonna be not fat by July Fourth. Fourth of July. Keep that hey, same energy. Do you guys do? You, is that the new date? Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> is that the, the new date? It's, it's new. <laughs> that shit is one. getting pushed back like taxes. <laughs> 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 um, real quick, do y'all like tartar sauce? Love I it. it. It's tartar sauce good, right? with hot sauce mixed mm. in. Meg, now I you see. talking my language. I didn't know that was like a, a popular thing. Yes. Yes. I've never had mustard on my fish like you guys are talking about. I got to Yo, this it. old deacon at my church in North Carolina, I had never had it before. And he was like, <laughs> they had a fish fry, right? And I was just like, he was like, what do you want on your campus? I was like, I'll just take the hot sauce. He was like, in this house, we do mustard. I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> Why even ask you then? Why he even ask? Well, see, there's a certain custom that I don't know about that just, just give it to me that way. I didn't know, sir. I Wait, feel like regular yellow mustard. It was like brown spicy. Regular mustard. yellow French's mustard, and it it worked. By the way, have y'all ever had catfish or a uh, fried fish and spaghetti? Yes, yes. that's how we grew up on that. That was a no, whoa, big whoa, in the Midwest. No, no, tell me more. It and is that was already on tell them more to hear it because it's a Midwest thing. So we, we do like the fried catfish or fried catfish nuggets, um, buffalo red snapper, whatever. With the spaghetti, you still put the, the ground beef in the spaghetti. You have like a roll with that. Bro, never, awesome. I, that was I've like never a, that, was a, that. that was like a regular Thursday meal. Regular no, Wednesday. I, I, did not, I hadn't heard of that until I was like 25. We were in we were in uh the Midwest somewhere and they was like, man, we on this fish and spaghetti. And I was like, hold on, what now? What you talking about? But does it matter? I, does it matter what type of fish? Like will they throw off the taste? No, no. Oh, no. no. It's a white yeah. fish. Yeah. No, boy, you weren't you the one rapping? I was born ready. I was off fish and spaghetti. Oh, that's yeah, but that was rock. that was black. No, that was that's G Dep. I just used to say the rap. I never actually had it. It is. Wait, who oh, was that? Uh, get yeah. this money. That's Ain't G no Depp. way you can get this from me. G Dep, and he went to oh. jail for a murder he committed, and he admitted it later in life. Damn. Did he really? It was like he really, twenty twenty so years later. He really was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like it was like it was like twenty years later. He was like, "Hey, man!" So I killed a guy. They were like, "All right, well, get your ass in the cell." He was like, "Wait, wait, wait! I just wanted to clear my conscience." They were like, <laughs> <laughs> they were like "Well, clear it in there, motherfucker." <laughs> Is he in jail still? Off that? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
some old niggas told him to wait 20 years and it was okay. He was like, <laughs> that's probably what he thought. You gotta he thought it was certain, a, Yeah, you gotta just take certain things. There, the there's no statute sta statute of limitations oh, on your murder, right? I could not think of that word for nothing. I was like, <laughs> it's a something a statue of liberty. Something gotta do with the jail stuff. I don't hey, know. Right. There's no statute of limitations on murder, right? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, is there ain't? There ain't. There ain't. No, there's think, not. There's I don't not. think there's there is not. because you know how like they, they put that serial killer away like 30 years later. I don't think yeah. there is on murder. That's but there is on sexual assault? Yes. Yeah. There is. That's hmm. so weird. Isn't it? That's such a weird rule. It's just like, eh, it's been enough time. You good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What, is, what, what? That's a great point. It and, it's like 12 years in most states, right? I don't know what it is. So you could literally be looking it's, it's, at your watch it's, it's, at midnight and be like, uh, like every state is not the same. I sexually assaulted somebody 70 years ago and they're like, ah, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the 21st. <laughs> That's bullshit. That is some oh, bullshit. Oh no boy, you are funny. That man, yeah. I just want to clear my content. Clear it in there. <laughs> you just went by that? That is funny, bro. <laughs> it's still going to be clear yard <laughs> time. <laughs> you should have waited longer. The other thing about fried fish, it's not nearly as, va as available as fried chicken. Fried chicken places are everywhere. There's no Long John Silvers or Captain D's out here, so there's not. Yeah. No, Kevin, but, Kevin, Kevin. I, I just learned there is. Terrible. Captain D's, that's for old people. That's probably why I love Captain like, I, I love, love Captain D's. Captain D's got, Captain D's got those rolls. I can see both of y'all going in with your grandparents being let me like, tell you, oh, let me, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you just understand, when I get old, I'm going to restaurants and then reading the paper and eating in there every day. This is a man. thing I look forward to. Listen, <laughs> that, that's tight. Same thing. Good, be a regular good. so bad. I can't wait to, oh, that's just Mr. Frederick. Okay, I, you know, same old thing. <laughs> Don't got the same order. I'll be over here. Have kind of a usual? Yeah. <laughs> Good fish will turn me into an auntie so fast. You understand me? <laughs> mm -hmm. I go in a place and they got some pickles with the fish and the hot sauce. Ooh, chop, bring it over to you. I got sweet tea too. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna be over. I'm gonna be over here in this first. Deep I don't, I don't like the here. breading on like like Captain D's, Long John Silver's. The breading on their fish is different from breading on like a. Oh yeah, for sure. Cat. Absolutely. Kev, Kev, I was trying to tell you. I didn't want to like throw off the uh, the the momentum. I just found out the other day there is a Long John Silver's in the valley. Where? Yes, in Reseda. Precious told me about it. In Reseda? <laughs> yes, bro. A whole How long time. I in Reseda and I never seen no Long John Silver? Bruh, she I think just it's told me. I think it's she Luke, just told I, me. Just talking? She just put me on the other day. I'll be visiting there since LA is opening up. Do you guys like fried red snapper, though? Yes. Absolutely. It is up. I like Amazing. that. That's one of the better fried fishes to me. It just doesn't happen that much. I feel oh, like I just seen a double it's in Pacoima. That's why I know. Yeah. And there's one there's one in Van Nuys too. And I feel like the reason, the reason why fish don't win is because it it varies fish to fish, whereas most fried yes. chicken is pretty good. Like yeah, I think there's no like, different types of chicken. It's just all chicken. Well, fried chicken, <laughs> you can have you can have really good fried chicken, but even like okay fried chicken still hits. Whereas right. if you have the wrong fish, it's and that I don't know about that because no. I hate KFC chicken and I'd rather just not eat it than to eat KFC's chicken. Yeah. Why do you guys not like KFC? That's because the best Because they don't chicken. have a crunchy crunch. Their their outside is not crunchy. But they got it's thirteen. On the hot it is flavorful. They got thirteen it is flavorful, original. But I need the crunch. Nah, man, man, thirteen if original you KFC, herbs. You would eat it. I guarantee it. KFC. No, I have not eaten KFC fried chicken. I don't know how long. No, they but they cook they, they, they cook KFC, they they cook KFC chicken and cocoa butter, like, cause that's what it tastes like. That chicken tastes moisturized. Ah man, you know, when me and Melissa were dating, let me tell you how, bro, we had a this is how long we've been together. She worked at KFC. I would come to her job when she got off, and I would help her debone chicken, and that would be some of our dates. Debone chicken, like take the bones out of it? Yeah, no. When they have chicken, they didn't sell. You would take the skin off take the meat off and put it in a pot. And then they would use that to make like the chicken pot pies and stuff. And the like uh, the barbecue chicken for like the barbecue chicken sandwiches. That's the bone chicken from the prior day non-sales. But and this was something we, that she had to do. Let me ask, there. I didn't even, I didn't even work there. They shouldn't even let me do that. I didn't, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is something that she had to do anyways. Mm -hmm. And I would just pull up when they would close. Oh, and you, I would fed, take you were a freelance KFC employee. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Did you ever did you ever sneak a bite while you were doing it? Like, uh, that's for you. Nah, it's for me. man. Nah, but I would them KFC chocolate chip cakes they had. Woo! No, you could go to the, town on those. Those strawberry parfaits that they used to have. 
They, they, they got rid of them. Oh, yeah! They had the pump, it had the whipped cream, the strawberry filling, and then the cake. Why did the they pump? discontinue, though? Because they're stupid. They are stupid. I'm that was their think, best I'm seller. I think if I would eat at a place that just had a regular civilian working in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I would go there after days that I also worked. Like, I'd leave Burger King and then pull up and be like, I'm going to help you debone this chicken, girl. In your Burger King shirt? <laughs> Nah, I, I, that was like that was like flying the wrong colors. I couldn't do that. I would have to. I would have another shirt in there, but I'd have my my Burger King grease shoes and the Burger King pants. Oh wait, I, wait, wait, and the manager wait. just let you do this? Yeah, bro, because they just want to get out faster. He owned that one. He it was a franchise one, so he was like, oh, oh this, this, so he did. Yeah, he was trying to close said, faster. Did, any oh, I was like, did you have to put a hairnet? Oh, never mind. Oh, really? Hey, Kev, let me Kev, let me ask you this, Kev. I was really work? about to be like a. <laughs> did any did any customers recognize you from Burger King? I'm like, damn, this is the most ambitious no. fast food person. No, no. I, I worked at a Burger King on base, so my regulars were mostly military people. This the KFC was off base, so it was a whole it was a whole different crowd. Oh, that's love. That's love. Good job, Kim. That hey, was love. Kim, that was you... just actually more work that I didn't get paid for, but I wanted to hang out with her. Let's all keep talking and let Doughboy keep doing this. Also, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, man. I don't care no more. Now I'm not gonna say. Yeah, no. you do. <laughs> What were you gonna say, though, though? I was gonna say when you were. I can't there, believe they actually let you back there. You had on the shoes for cruise and your little dickies and all that. You coming back there? Okay. Let's get bold this chicken. Okay. okay. I wonder if I, I wonder somebody if somebody else was gonna do it. Okay. I wonder if the manager was ever like, "Man, this nigga thirsty." <laughs> 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 the funny thing about that Pat is the manager and owner was white, so if he did say that, it's even funnier. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nigga thirsty. Ha ha, I said it. Nobody heard me because I was in my house. Wait, but how did this, did she like have to ask and say, hey manager, like, can my boyfriend come and help me? Like, it was kind of like a really low key thing. Like, because the dude owned it, it was like a lot of stuff that they didn't have to do the same. Uh, I don't remember how I was doing. I think I was just sitting there one day and they were like, she was like, if you want to help me, if you want to get out faster, you help me debone this chicken. I was like, debone chicken? And then my first complaint was, what is debone chicken? And that's when I found out that. All the stuff I liked from there was from was old chicken from the day before. What? Once I cleared that hurdle, then I was like, well, sure, man, let's get out of here. Y'all ain't <laughs> never had day old chicken. Come on now. I, for whatever reason, doing something that you do at home, a restaurant doing it doesn't seem right. I don't I do that at home. I don't want y'all to do that. I want to do that. It's still good. I don't get it, it though. Did, you said did that every chicken is from the day before? No, and they didn't is, sell it the day before. So, I mean, they didn't sell it today. So then tonight, and when they close up, they got to debone it and use it for the, the chicken sandwiches and the chicken pie. Pie. Wow. That's almost as scary. Eat, do y'all eat cold chicken? Can y'all eat cold chicken out the refrigerator? Just take yeah. them. Yeah, it ain't. But you can't do cold fish. Cold fish is trifling. You no. try to eat and I don't think fish. fish also, it doesn't come back as well as fried chicken. I agree. I agree fish sticks that. are fire, though. Fish sticks are amazing, but you can't. You got to eat those on the first, oh, like the first warm up. Oh, the quarantine has bought back my love relationship with fish sticks since I was a child. The quarantine yep. brought back my whole frozen food relationship because nope. I, 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 heard, I smelled uh, some chicken nuggets being heated up. I was like, "What is that? It smelled gourmet to me." And I'm now I'm, <laughs> I'm back in. <laughs> Pat was like that dude in Ratatouille. Remember when Ratatouille <laughs> made his deal? He's like, "I haven't had that since my dorm days at CSUN. <laughs> Those chicken, chicken nuggets with a fork and knife. <laughs> I'm about to get some White Castles next week. Oh, please don't do that. You're going to pay no, for it. Don't week. do the frozen yeah, White Castles. Great. You'd be better off driving to Vegas and getting White Castles. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't white age castles. well? They don't, they don't heat well. Oh, they be, I they be that mistake, sweaty. Man. They be sweaty. Yeah. yeah. You got you to gotta literally just take certain steps to heat that up correctly. Like, hey, where were we as a society when niggas was eating TV dinners? That was, that's like the saddest. Yo, I was, a, I, was a, I was a very, I was like a, a, a expert in TV dinners. No, I, I, eat them them as a kid. I don't eat banquets. I don't eat banquets. I only eat Marie Callender's cheesy broccoli. Hungry, Hungry Man was good though too, mm -mm. but like Hungry I, Man I, made the. Remember when Hungry Man made the XL more meat and more. And they gave you brownies too. The brownies was lit too. Brownies in a TV dinner is the worst thing. That was the worst kid cuisine dessert. Was uh brownies? It's just hot, molten yeah. fudge. Yeah, but, uh, but frozen, but frozen in the middle. But frozen in the middle. If you don't eat it fast enough, it's gonna get hard again by the time. Yeah, you and you can it. never take the brownie out. It you always had to eat it through the, the little corner. I just always <laughs> used to feel bad for like the old like 
the like older white couples that didn't have sex anymore and like the woman just heated up a TV dinner and was just like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> he just sadly ate it while he watched his programs. <laughs> is, it, it, is it weird? Is it weird that I've only eaten Salisbury steak in a TV dinner? Me never too. Any, I've never, never ordered it else. else. I've never seen it at a restaurant. I've never seen it anywhere. Steak at school, at public school? I've never eaten Salisbury steak anywhere but a TV. What is that? I don't even know. It's just a hamburger patty with gravy on it. That's all. Remember, remember when they used to come in the trays, like give it like a whole, like an eight of the Salisbury steak. You got a that fill. Oh my god! I've never even seen that option at a steakhouse. You'd think they'd have all. It's not a steak. It's literally like ground up ground beef, and they just flatten it like a patty. But Salisbury is great marketing. They were like, we got too many hamburger patties. How can we sell this to somebody else? We're gonna make it oval, and then we're gonna put gravy on it and call it Salisbury steak. A nigga, a nigga named Pete on Salisbury there. suggested that. <laughs> My name is Pete Salisbury, and I think that we can just sell this shit. And they're like, hmm. But the Salisbury flavor is lit, though. Salisbury flavor is good. It does. What does that mean? It is good. It is. What does that mean? I, I, just the way I that the, no the sauce tastes. But I feel the no same way. has really I'm uncovered a, a mystery that I got to do some more <laughs> digging about. You know what I want to make this week, though, for real? Sloppy Joe. Hey, I just did that. Is it good? Was it good? Was it good? Yeah, it was cool. It was pretty good. Yeah. What is in a sloppy joe? Was it manwich? Yeah. Twice. What is it? You just mix I it with so, like. I had to eat that so much as a kid. I just won't put. I can't put myself through that again. How can, how can we make I, it I don't better? Remember, I don't remember what's in it, but we it's, ate so much yeah, of we it. We ate. We ate manwich. I remember the one time when I was a kid, I made the mistake of saying manwich again, and I got the. I got a beating. That was record levels of anger out of my mouth for saying, man, what you get? <laughs> and I wasn't even trying to be rude. I just was like, hey, man, what you get? <laughs> oh, they, got, they, got, they got different cans now. So they got the man with original. They got a, a spicy man and they wait, got an XL man which says like, beat your like ass for saying that? Wait, how do you hey, know man, that? You wait, how, how do you know that to hear? Because that's something easy my daughter can make. So we buy cans of man when she wants to cook dinner. Hey, Kev, you know what's funny about that? That means you struck a chord with her. She had the thought to herself, like, damn, I make this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna cause I'm gonna cause pain to you. Shut up! I can make other stuff. <laughs> Yo, we bro, there were some months we might have had that ten times a month. Like, bro, that's a lot of manwich. It's good though. It's a, a lot, bro. I don't I don't want to eat that again. Did y'all did y'all used to put cheese have on it? Hamburger buns for y'all manwich, or y'all have regular white bread? We have white bread. Wow. We, have we have white bread have, for everything. We never yeah. got specialty oh, buns. Trash. We never got the buns that you were required for stuff. Trying to make it. Seem <laughs> My mom just didn't believe in. in Bro, the first time I had a barbecue that they had hamburger buns for the hamburgers, I was like, well, moving on up. <laughs> sandwich is low-key spaghetti toppings as it a sandwich. Is. It's is like it? spaghetti Absolutely. sauce. It's a little bit different, but it's it's very close. I feel like yeah. it's spaghetti sauce and taco seasoning put together, and then they were like, oh, manwich. Do y'all put uh, cheese on y'all y'all manwich sandwich? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did that. Some days, if we had a good month from the wick, <laughs> we were on wick. That cheese don't melt. Yeah, that does. I never had that problem. Government cheese wick. don't melt. Government it's a long time. You got to put it. Never, in there. My, my mom didn't make us eat government cheese, but we had a government. I, I remember I was like, man, life is tough. When she, we went to the wick office. I don't know if this existed in anybody else's life, but there were small wick stores, and they only had wick. Like stuff in them. It wasn't like. No, it's still there. They have it, especially they have like baby formula there. They have. Mm -hmm. they oh, okay. Have so this wasn't just us. No. <laughs> My mom yeah. bought us some grape nuts, and I was like, man, just don't, just don't. I'd rather no, go. That is like grape nuts sand. is the worst it's a, cereal ever. It's a spoonful of sand when you eat grape right. nuts. It, it won't is. break down. It doesn't get wet from the milk. Bro. And they right must be like this on the spoon. Like, what's up? I ain't going. Who, who is buying it? Who's they buying all this credit? It. It's, it's got to be people, it. older people who are trying to remain regular. That's the only thing. Yeah. No, it's the people who, when Raisin Bran crunches out, then they go get grape nuts. Well, why you know what, man? Why you're trying to be funny? Let me tell you the worst thing ever that's happened in my life. Both Your of my sons, sons like, like Raisin, Raisin Bran Crunch. I know, you told us this several times. And I'm going to tell you the worst part. I They got Raisin Bran Almond Crunch. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds I made, good. I bought a box, and before I got to a bowl, the box was in the trash, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, you didn't have one bowl? I didn't have one bowl. Mind you, we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, 
Frosted Flakes, Reese's Puff, and Love. The stuff that is for y'all mm-hmm. has been open. Kev, wait, 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 wait. Kev, you don't have a secret stash? You don't have a you gotta, you gotta, Come on, you got to have a... Not a cereal. There's really nowhere to hide cereal. I don't want to be caught coming out of my office. big house. You don't have to refrigerate. Big house. Huh? Yeah. Put it well, under your bed. Put it in your office. I'm not going to put food in a, a room. It's weird. Listen, let me tell you. I snuck I, teeth. You have boys, and they're about to be like old teenagers eating up all your... It's only going to get worse. They are yeah. already I like that. It's going to get worse. They're going to be bigger than you soon, and they're going to eat up all your... Like, as soon as you bring it in, they're going to inhale it out the box. You're not, not going to put gonna get cereal in my closet. I just... I, there's some no, things I can't like do. get like a little mini fridge. Get a mini fridge. No, I, I have a mini fridge, but I don't want to bring it in here. I feel your pain, Kevin. I don't it's, you, it's weird to have food in the in the it's bedroom. It's not when you have teenage boys. I'm telling you. I have a I have a secret stash too, and I don't even need it. It's just <laughs> <laughs> who are you hiding from, friend? Oh, no, it's y'all just it's with me that are teenage kitchen. boys. Y'all act like teenage my son boys. Jojo was like, "Can you not buy the cereal with the almonds?" I'm like, bro, this ain't for you to begin with. I like the almonds. Don't <laughs> ask me <laughs> stuff. This is not for you. I want this for me. <laughs> but yes, I'll buy it just that way because you'll you won't know why didn't you do that. Go I ahead, Joe. Fried fish and fried chicken. Uh, Man, who cares about the topic? <laughs> That's what this show is. I'm People ain't right. watching this show to make sure we stay on topic. They just want to hear us talk about whatever we're talking about. That's okay. why it doesn't really matter what the topic is. Back. Shut up. We still gotta bring it back, unlike your hairline. I'm yeah. going for fried fish. Damn. <laughs> that was a hell of a transition. That was <laughs> Meg was not this funny when she first came and did the drop. I swear. <laughs> She's got most improved roaster three years in a row. That's like chicken on you broke boys. That's why I feel like she's practicing somehow. She's probably flaming up the people in her everyday life. Oh, Mav is getting, getting the worst of it. Mav's getting the worst of it every day. He is. He is. You I go like I'm going fried fish as well. I'm really? Going fr- I'm going fried chicken. Have you guys ever smelled fried chicken? That's the thing, though. Fried chicken is a way better smell than fried fish. Fried fish is not that inviting. I know, but I, I worked at a soul food joint growing up at my godparents' soul food restaurant, and I'm going to tell you, I always had a free meal every shift, and it always their, their chicken was amazing. People would drive to get the chicken, but if I had to pick, if I had them both, and they're both equally amazing, I'm going to pick fried fish. Man, really? Maybe, think maybe about it. If they're both ADD equally amazing, because you could get fried chicken anywhere. If you really wanted it, but if you find some like really good fried fish, like you're gonna go fried fish. Here's the thing about fried fish: it only smells good if it's being made for you. If somebody else heats up fried fish, it's mm-hmm. the worst smell of all. Do you time. remember when Meg used to bring fish into the office and heat yeah, it up, and we'd be yeah. like, "Megan, use the third floor microwave." It was probably fire to her, but we were just like, "Ew." Yeah. This fish ain't for me. Like to the point <laughs> where y'all put it in a meeting and was like, "If your food stinks." You can't heat it up on the second floor. And I was just like, well, hold up. Because I know that was directed towards me, even though no one Bringing, bringing shit up in a... And then I started naming people food. Yes. I was like, uh, somebody's, um, somebody had some nasty, oh, I don't know. There's spaghetti stuff. The part about that is Meg was literally the only one in the whole company that people had a problem with. Nobody else, in all the 70 people there, nobody else heated up. Uh, nasty smelling stuff, but her. Yes, they like, did. Yes, they did. I didn't oh. like the way uh, somebody's, they always had spaghetti. Like a couple times, I hated the way their spaghetti smelled. I don't know what they put it. It was disgusting. But just because y'all Americans liked it, it was no problem with it. But then you want to put on natural though. fish that right. us Korean people love. I'm American. You're American too. You're American. You American? Besides the point. <laughs> you were born on a military base. That, that still gives you American citizen. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, Y'all Pastor, what had you going a whole with? meeting and said I cannot bring fish and heat it up, and I felt very attacked. I just want you to know. Bringing shit yeah. up in a meeting about someone is the most petty corporate shit. Oh like, god, the most massive aggressive. Like, oh yeah, to anybody who uh maybe uh, and it's like something that's very specifically you. <laughs> anybody who uh puts their hair up and then it just drapes over. If you could not like. <laughs> Although, remember that one musty dude? We didn't bring that up in a meeting, and I wish we would have. We all went to HR like, Ugh. bro, get your boy. Get Big Ben <laughs> over here. This guy killing the second row. Nigga, as, when you are pointed out as the musty person, it does not matter what your actual job is. Bro, nobody. <laughs> no, bro. Nobody. Talk to him. 
Nobody brought it up because everybody was afraid he was going to shoot up the place. Let's be, oh, let's be right. honest about it. Bro. I was like, that here, that. not only was he that guy, he also was a computer hacker. I was like, bro, I'm not going to have my bank account ruined. Let him be must be a beat. Hey. I ain't going to say it publicly, but I do have my problems. He, he had a really cute black thing. girlfriend, too, by the way. He, he was what? the fuck out of here. The whole Are you serious? The whole time. I ended up looking at his Instagram page one day. I was like, bro, oh, he, he had an Instagram? Instagram? He would be straight musty with no sleeves on. He would wear cut off shirts. Well, that makes so sense. Can't that like, he can't even like hide it. It's just like And it. he smoked like a pack and a half a day. And oh, remember we asked something. Emily to talk to him and he said, I don't I don't um I don't wear I don't use traditional soap. It, it we was like we skin. we was like we know. Man. Yeah, you tried to <laughs> reveal that to us. Clearly, you're not. You're you revealed soap. that like actually, guys. I don't use soap. I'm just saying yeah, that's, you, that's why we're talking. Use right more now. water more times a week. That would help. <laughs> Black too. girlfriend, what are the? Man, things? she had to stink too. She had to stink too. That's the. Uh. Only that was just a lot of stinky sex then. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I Have y'all ever it. seen a couple that looks musty and be like, I bet their sex stinks? Uh, I think about uh, that um, almost exclusively. <laughs> 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 all right, what's, what say y'all? What wins? We're just missing Pat. Fried chicken all day. You guys all right, so the fried chicken's have it. Oh my God, he does have a black girlfriend. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> hey, hey, Kev, hey, hey, Kev, send, 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 send me a picture because I don't feel like looking up his Insta. Send it to me. Oh, Send it to me put to it cat. in the group chat. Just and they have cats, chat. too. What are the chances of that? The cats make a lot of sense. The black girl, I am really surprised by. Hey, I told the, you. hey the cats probably lick him to bathe him. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something. Let's just team up. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Wow, so I am like, tripping. Man, how like did you get an Instagram? Guys, I be looking people up. I bet you do. Yes, I do. Fried chickens have it, guys. We're going to move on to this last and final topic. All right, last topic of the day, ladies and gentlemen. We have hotel sex versus home sex. This is a... I don't really be, uh, I don't, I don't really be smashing a lot in hotels, surprisingly. Uh, I, just, I just don't. I don't have a lot of hotel sex. I mean, I've had it, you said I don't have a... I don't have to. Well, I mean, you know, I'm out here <laughs> in the street, you know. Did you think we thought, man, that Doughboy, a lot of Marriott <laughs> sex. You, you know who has a lot of hotel sex? Doughboy does. I don't, I don't have a ton of... Doughboy was having sex at hotels you pay for by the hour. <laughs> 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 oh, cinnamon. sir, welcome back to the Calico Cat. I see you have a new thing with you. The Calico Cat? I'm not having sex at no place, no hotel where the doors open and you're right outside. I need carpet. I don't, I can't do it. It's a thing of mine. It's a whole thing. I can't stay there if I open the door and I'm right outside. It's I just can't do it. Really? Why? It just feels like that murders be happening there. For real, though. <laughs> Let me tell you what. The brokest thing, I, and this is where I finally decided, I just you got to have one or the other. Took my wife to Napa Valley and, and greatly underestimated how expensive the hotels are there. Mm -hmm. And we had to stay at a Motel 6 in Napa Valley, and that thing was like $180. And I was like... For, for a Motel 6? For a Motel 6. I was like, we just probably shouldn't even have came out here. We don't... We, obviously, we don't have the money to really be out here like that. So we might Isn't that expensive for a Motel 6? Yes! Hell Motel yes. 6 would be like $32! Yeah, for, for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Like a hundred and eighty dollars. My mom was like, "You didn't look up before." I was like, "I mean, I knew it'd be expensive hotels. I did not." Is bro, it a nice motel six though in Napa Valley? No, it was regular too. <laughs> regular motel six, smoke smells, how, how, trash. It was ridiculous. How far was Napa Valley from where you were staying at the time? And on top of that, to here, it was still a good twenty-five minutes to get to Napa Valley because the actual hotels in Napa Valley uh, five six hundred dollars a night. I was like. Night? Oh, a night, we was only there for one night. I was like, bro, I don't have. What are those same hotels doing right now? Ooh, during this, right during now. this, during this pandemic, like five, six hundred a night, and now you nobody's talking this remote, and they'd be like, three nights, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Napa is expensive, man. It is. It is ex I was like, bro, this is this is a lot. That's crazy for the Motel 6 to be that in Bro, and not elegant. It was like, what you think this is? A Motel 6? You're right. <laughs> Got another one, Tom. 
I think I, I don't know. I think that I'm probably gonna be leaning more towards home sex just because I'm more comfortable in the house. I don't I don't ever fall all the way asleep in hotels. I can't all the way get into sex like that. I don't all the way like eating food in hotels. It's just you're a like, liar, huh? What you mean you don't like eating food in hotels? No, not like I do at the house, though. At the You're house, lying. Really... They bring you the food okay, in hotels, take, okay, and they okay, take okay. it away. Okay, take the food <laughs> out. But okay, but the sex <laughs> and the sleep thing is absolutely. No boy wild. would be comfortable eating in a shootout. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But, so no, I just think because just because of comfortability <laughs> levels, I'm way more comfortable at home than I am in a hotel. Before the pandemic, I probably spent, and me to here too, and even though, spent more time in hotels than the average person to where they, they, they lost the allure a couple of years ago. Then it's just like, it's just not what it used to be before when I was first like, you know, becoming an adult and I'd be like, oh man, I could stay here in this. Um, Do they now start that being said, huh? Do they start to like look and feel the same? Um, yes. Let me tell you what touring does for me. And it kind of was like really... It was really interesting, actually. When you go on the whole United States, you realize there's hardly anything that separates any of these cities from any of these other cities. Yeah. It's only real, like, New York, uh, uh, New Orleans. It's very few cities that actually have a feel. But, like, from Kansas City, Jacksonville, bro, same hotels, same restaurants, same everything, same air. It's all, it just bleeds into one thing. It. One thing that hotels never be switching up is the layout. I feel like every oh. hotel has the exact same layout. They might switch up like the colors or the, the pictures. Every oh, resident of, in a loft or a loft or a loft. A, like no, a loft, a loft yeah, LA, a, a loft be a little different sometimes. Cause like they'll have like a rooftop pool or they'll have the-, um, the But uh, what I'm saying is all the a lofts be dope though. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lofts be dope. What I did realize though in overseas, I think people might be smaller there because I felt like the hotels over there felt like they were made for smaller people. <laughs> they're definitely, especially in Europe, they make it. Bro. Like when we were in London, I was like, bro, why is it so small like this? And they charge the everything over there. Oh, yeah, I'd really? be like, bro, it's, it's worse than New York. London is probably the most expensive hotel I've been for the smallest room. Is it London? Yeah, not, more no, London city? and Tokyo are the most expensive cities in the world. Tokyo London. was crazy, too. Yeah. They, I whew. thought San Francisco is up there now. It is. San Francisco is the most expensive. I think that's to live, though. Yeah, that's the most expensive to live. San Francisco has the most billionaires than anywhere else in the country. I want you to really? stop taking facts that I tell you and then passing them off as your own facts. <laughs> I said me. that on Righteous and Ratchet, and you be saying that like you knew that. Well, just I was just stating a fact. I didn't have to know how to cite my sources. So I, I want APA <laughs> style. Kev on stage told me in October in episode. <laughs> the one thing about hotel sex that's great is there's if you if you have kids, having no kids around is that's a great feeling. Not only that, not only that, but like I don't know about y'all, but I like I like messy, nasty sex. And I'd be like, I don't want to do all that stuff on that's the pretty much sex. what we were all assuming. I don't want to do all of that stuff on on the confidence. We got to wash, like it's, messy, it's a lot of wash. Like, you don't have yeah, to. Said, I don't know about you guys. I like messy, nasty stuff. Did you uh, just, say messy and nasty? I couldn't yeah, tell. You said messy, nasty, nasty. nasty. Just freckles everywhere. Freckles so what everywhere. is the rest of us like? Oh, we like mostly neat, orderly sex. Uh, quaint. Kev, I feel like you re you read a scripture before you start getting down in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, while he's doing it. No right. boy eats while he's doing it. <laughs> Meg is chastising somebody who she's doing. <laughs> Faster, oh, I'm a stuck. <laughs> and Pat is probably ashing blunts off on the chick that he's smashing. I don't know, man. <laughs> Here, you got to clean up barbecue sauce after you smash. <laughs> <laughs> you leave hickory everywhere. <laughs> hickory? I'm adventurous. I'm adventurous. What can I say? <laughs> Oh, that's the Chick fil A sauce in the bed again, Dad. Me and your mother was on a wild except again. <laughs> His hotel maids are confused as hell. Like, there is aioli everywhere. <laughs> Garlic yeah. aioli so, all over. So, so y'all don't put aioli on areolas? Y'all tripping. Uh, Aioliolas. <laughs> but, like, I love the it. difference is you got it when you got to, for hotel sex, like, you got to plan it and then you got to bring stuff with you. You got to. Why do you got to plan it? You ain't got to plan hotel sex. You just go and do As it. As a woman, oh. you have to, there's stuff okay. that you'd like to bring. Maybe there's- Tell us about it, Pat. What do you have to bring? 
Hair uh, over, uh, overnight the bag, bonnie. a toothbrush, my own sage, because I don't fuck with the my house. My own sage? <laughs> <laughs> All my you just can't be using any, but if just on anybody's sage, you know, you got to have a special sage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just to change the subject, here, <laughs> here's my answer. Have you ever, like, if you, I'm too in my head with hotels, because if you have sex in a hotel and you finish on the sheets, you're just going to be like, damn, how many other people did that? And I just got to sleep here. I like, think about that. I, I do. It, and, I, and I get I, weirded out in my head like, Ugh, it's gross. Because everybody else who's there is thinking the same thing we are. This ain't yeah, my place. You I don't have always to. feel at a hotel for all of you hotel lovers. It's what? always like that. There's plenty of dirt. It's probably just never I think about that. Food. That thought, I just, I blocked that out of my mind. I don't also think about when I'm at a restaurant that somebody else has put this fork in their mouth. I just don't think about it. I know it's yeah, been that too. But, but it's different. Like when you're in a hotel and you spill something on the rug, you, you mad, but you like, I'm leaving pretty soon. So people, <laughs> so people probably think the I'm same leaving. thing with sex. They're just like, this ain't my bed. I'm not going to be here this long. I don't know. Maybe I'll shit on my, my partner tonight. Like, I feel like people will start doing weird ass shit just because it's not theirs. And I just can't right. not think and about that. Take, yeah, people don't take care of stuff that's not theirs. So that means they just doing all every, all that's the That's a good stuff. point. I don't like that. Home all day. Uh, I'm, I'm home too. Home. I'm a home home. I just, I'm a home. Yeah, I like it I'd rather there. be home than anywhere. I, I say home. <laughs> than anywhere, that's true. Um, I do hotel for me. What? I like hotels, man. Make he doesn't want to clean up the pasta sauce every time. It's a whole <laughs> I mean, unless we put a towel down. <laughs> I'm about to ragu. I'm about to ragu. <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> and then he gets her frego. <laughs> oh, that had so many levels, yes, man. It did. Built it and built levels, up. Man. You guys built are good. Up. Oh man, you never. You're not gonna top that. That was just. A, that was just built on itself. That was great. <laughs> right, so Meg, what was yours? What was your choice? A home, home. Is, there's just more comfort. Okay, so home. No, nah, Meg picks neither. She's just like <laughs> no sex at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, this baby is immaculate conception. Abstinence. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Look well, like the homes take it on that one. Uh, thank y'all, man, for coming out, pulling up, and Pat. You know, saying coming through whenever you want to. You know oh saying? man, can we do one more just for me? No, man. It's been oh, almost two hours. Yeah, like, yeah, it's away it's for it's another thing. No. Okay. This is the greatest conversation we ever had, too. <laughs> All right, well, man, thank y'all so much for watching. It wasn't funny. Please continue to send your, uh, your your suggestions to my inbox on Instagram, and we will see y'all next week. Peace. Hey. Let us know in the comments how enjoyable the part was without me. <laughs> <Very>. <laughs>